This is the interior of the all new Toyota Avalon. And there's a lot going on in here. Uh, in terms of design, there's a literally a lot going on here. The thing that really stands out is this center console goes, rises up and uh, literally stands out from the rest of the design. You can even see how it goes around there as so. And then there's a lots of different materials in here. So you have the pleathery leather material here. It's actually nice, nice and stitched. But then you have wood trim in this. This is the limited trim level. So this wood is actually by Yamaha of the piano people, not the, not the engine people. And then you have your kind of rubbery substance here, kind of standard, but then as you go down here, they have tried to match that rubbery texture here down at the bottom, but it's hard plastic and uh, not that great, honestly. And then here you have your soft techs running down the center console with your U-shaped cup holder and then a standard cup holder. For some reason, Toyota really likes their cup holders to be in separate units. Don't know why. And then forward here, you have this bin. This is where the wireless charging is. And then you can close that and put your phone there and it keeps it nice in place. But here's the thing. It, uh, there's no wire. There's nowhere to charge your phone the old fashioned way with a wire. You, you have to do that under here. Now you'll notice that there are three uh, charge points in here. There's two in the rear and therefore this car comes standard with five USB ports. And it's a good point to discuss one of the main functions here new bits in the all new Avalon is that this car has Apple CarPlay now. This would be the first Toyota that gets it. So you can press your app button and you can say, you can see that it says that Apple CarPlay is currently active and you can get in there in some way that I haven't exactly um, discovered yet. But this is a, a new screen, it's 10 inches. This is standard. Uh, if anything, it's a little bit far away, but it is high, it is large, it's easy to see. Uh, the other new thing about this Avalon is all of these buttons, and then down here as well, this is all new switch gear, which all feels very nice. Um, and you have uh, ventilated seats here in the limited trim, as well as in the, uh, the touring trim, which is the kind of sporty version of this car. And as you can see, this has two-tone leather. You have a very Lexus-like intricate stitch pattern going on on the doors and then down on the seat. But then it has this crazy um, ventilated uh, leather pattern here. It almost looks like stars, uh, kind of distinctive, kind of strange, but this is only in this trim level. In fact, this is this limited trim is the only Avalon that comes with leather. The base XLE, which is barely base in terms of equipment, does come with the uh, Softex uh, vinyl, which unlike other Toyotas with that same named material, uh, does feel a lot more like leather than the other stuff, which really just feels like vinyl. Uh, the other trim, the sportier ones, come with a mix of mostly Softex and then uh, just a little bit of ultra suede. And then you can see here on the steering wheel that you do have this two-tone that will definitely look a little dirty if you don't take care of it. There you go. And you do have your controls down there, your heated steering wheel button. And here are the uh, gauges. This display is standard on every single Avalon. And here in the sun, you can get a better look at that wood trim from Yamaha. So in total, uh, this is a very nice cabin in terms of its materials, um, with the exception of that right there. And 
I like elements of this design specifically right here. I really like how these vents are built into the, the control area. However, there is an awful lot going on here, uh, a bit visually cluttered, but in general, for a car, this car tops $40,000, I'd say it feels suitably luxurious enough, and actually, I'd say this is a bit more premium than some cars that actually wear luxury badges.